Hi guys, it's a serious one today. I wanted to talk about the sentencing of Ruby Frankie and Jodie Hildebrandt. So if you've not already heard, they both got sentenced the same four consecutive sentences of between 1 and 15 years, which means they'll each go to prison for between 4 and 60 years. What the fuck is that? So it's the parole board who will actually decide how many years they serve. But am I the only one who thinks it's fucking ridiculous that after the amount of child abuse that has been proven, these women might only serve four years each? So they both took very different routes. With Ruby accepting responsibility and saying she'd done wrong and she was all like apologetic and saying she deserved to be in prison. Whereas Jodie went the opposite way and said it was like the kid's fault. Let me show you what I mean. So first, Ruby. Without any intent to change my stipulated sentence. For the past four years, I've chosen to follow counsel and guidance that has led me into a dark delusion. My distorted version of reality went largely unchecked as I would isolate from anyone who challenged me. I was led to believe that this world was an evil place. My choice to believe and behave this paranoia culminated into criminal activity. So you can see she's acting like she's really sorry. And I say acting because I don't believe a fucking word of it. She's being as manipulative as ever. Making out like she was brainwashed and basically throwing Jodie Hildebrandt under the bus. Jodie Hildebrandt was never my business partner. Nor was I ever employed by her. I have never received wages from her or connections. Jody was employed as my son's counselor in 2019, and in 2020 I paid her to be my mentor. So yeah, she's admitting she's guilty, but she's saying it's all the fault of Jody, Jody Hildebrandt brainwashing her. Which is absolute bollocks, because she was abusing those kids long before Jody Hildebrandt came on the scene. So she used to do this massive YouTube channel called Eight Passengers with her, her husband and her children. And it's been well documented about the ridiculously hard punishments that she's put on these kids. Even at one point sending one of them to one of those wilderness camps, you know, where they torture the kids. Another punishment she did that I remember off the top of my head, one of the kids did something and she took the bedroom off and made them sleep in the basement on a beanbag. Not for a couple of nights, for fucking months, like six months, something like that. So no, Jodie Hildebrandt is not to blame for you abusing your children. You are their mother. You are supposed to protect them. Admittedly, her craziness did turn up a level once she teamed up with Hildebrandt. So it seems to be that when Jodie Hildebrandt became Ruby's mentor, Jodie told her that she needed to spend a year away from Kevin to fix their marriage, which she did. They were living separately for a year. And then Ruby and Jodie were spending more and more time together because they started up this YouTube cult-like thing called Connections where they gave marital advice and parenting advice, ironically. So they were spending more and more time together and away from the kids. The kids were left at home on their own. They were like, I think they were 9 and 11 maybe. Maybe 10 and 12, not 100% sure. They got complaints about it. So then the kids went to stay with them. At Jodie Hildebrandt's house, which is where the abuse was finally discovered. This was some of the abuse that was read out in court. Ms. Hildebrandt committed awful acts of child abuse. From May to August 2023, she and her business partner held two children, ages 9 and 11, turning 12, in a concentration camp-like setting in her house in Ivan City. The children were regularly denied food, water, beds to sleep in, and virtually all forms of entertainment. They were isolated from others and were hidden when people came to visit the house. They were forced to do physical tasks, like carrying loaded boxes up and down stairs and doing wall sits or sitting against a wall without assistance of a chair or stool for hours at a time. They were forced to do manual labor outdoors in the extreme summer heat, often without shoes or socks. And they were also forced to stand outside on a cement patio in the summer heat for hours and even days. They were beaten, and the 12-year-old was regularly bound hand and foot after he attempted to run away in mid-July. Both children had extensive physical injuries from the abuse that required hospitalization to treat. The injuries from the binding are particularly bad. In addition to the physical abuse, the children were emotionally abused. They each believed to some degree that they deserved what was being done to them. Had the older of the two children not had the courage to run away and ask a neighbor to call the police, heaven only knows how much longer he could have survived. Look at that. There's no fucking reaction on her face. No remorse whatsoever. 
She's just evil through and through, that one. So as you can see, even though they both pled guilty, they both played it very differently. My opinion is that Ruby Frankie was more strategic and tried to get the sympathy from the judge. And I think she's going to carry on that route to try and get a more lenient sentence from the parole board so she'll get let out early by saying she admits what she's done is wrong and she's really sorry and she feels like she was brainwashed. So the people feel sympathetic towards her. I don't believe it for a minute. I think she's a fucking manipulative bitch. She's been abusing those kids for fucking years. And she's only sorry now she's been caught. Another thing that pissed me off is this. To demonstrate my remorse and regret without blame, I take full accountability for my choices and it is my preference that I'll serve a prison sentence. Acting like she's a fucking martyr and she's volunteering to go to prison. It's not your fucking choice, you bitch. You are guilty and you are going to prison, not because you're choosing to. So even though they both pleaded guilty... Ruby Frankie acted remorseful, but Jodie Hildebrandt still refuses to acknowledge that any of this is her fault and actually blames the kids. Listen to this. After being caught, Ms. Hildebrandt has shown little to no remorse for her actions. In telephone conversations that will be provided in full to the Board of Pardons and Parole, and which she knew to be recorded, she's repeatedly claimed that she is the victim and the children of the perpetrators. She's gone so far as to say that the things said in this proceeding and covered by the media today will be full of lies. She is one crazy bitch. I can see her trying to start a cult in prison. Anyway, to sum things up, I don't think the minimum of four years is harsh enough at all for the things that they've done. Those poor kids are traumatised for life. And Ruby Frankie hasn't even been denied access to the kids. She could probably come out of prison and still be a mother to them kids and it's just not on. I hope to God that the parole board sentences her to stay in prison until the kids are at least like 18, if not 21. I don't think they will. I think it's going to air more to the four years, which is shit because she'll probably be out in like three and a half with time served already. But it's not up to us, is it? Let me know what you think in the comments. Has justice been served? Or have they got off lightly? Thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon. Bye.